Thanks for stopping by. We are Iowa.com. Here's a look at your local five forecast. Another hot one. Temperatures at the time of the recording, upper 90s, some places triple digits too. We do have the heat index to contend with, but those dew points are a little bit lower, so they aren't quite as extreme as yesterday, but still very dangerous. If you're going to be outside uh, through Thursday evening, make sure you prepare for the heat, stay hydrated, take frequent breaks, and find some additional ways to stay cool. Pop inside every now and again or stay in the shade. Wear lightweight clothing too. Those heat indices hanging out north of 110 in many locations. This now makes six consecutive days where we've hit a heat index of 100 degrees or more. That's good for seventh longest on record, but the forecast calls for one more for Friday. That would take us up to that number three spot. That's only occurred five other times in recorded history for Des Moines. 2017, we had back to back 100 degree temps. We're still waiting on that official mark for Thursday, but very, very close. Should it happen, first time in six years. Heat warning continues for Thursday evening north of I-80, south of I-80. It's in place through Friday afternoon and evening. Still some heat indices north of 100, close to 110 down into southeastern Iowa. Cold front, very slow mover pushing across the state. That's spelt relief up to the north. There is some rain back west on I-90 in South Dakota. I think that little wave trickles through north Iowa for Friday morning. No relief for Des Moines, though, with uh, respect to that rain. And the heat just yet. Triple digits into the higher plains out towards Omaha, Wichita, North Platte earlier today. St. Louis included on the triple digit uh, reading too. Highs for Friday, cooler in North Iowa where we reach the mid and upper 80s only, but mid 90s central Iowa down into the south in some places still sending that heat index north of 100. I think for the Des Moines area 105 is going to be about the max, but there may be a few locations that reach as high as about 110. So looking at Oskaloosa, Ottumwa likely having the best prospects to make it one last day of this extreme heat and then it's breaking. I want to focus on that rain chance and Friday looks to be about the best opportunity here. First half of the day, especially from about 5 a.m. to noon is that window we'll watch, but it's not going to be for everyone. Some showers, thunderstorms possible in the northern part of the state here. Here's 9 o'clock, so we're especially uh, looking at places north. I'd say about Highway 30 with that best opportunity, but especially so into northern Iowa. Some welcome downpours there, especially considering drought conditions have worsened over northeastern Iowa. You see those temperatures coming down big time for the weekend. Tonight, 76 degrees with the overnight low. That is not a record high low. That record is pretty stout at 79 degrees. 94 for Friday. That's a reduction in those temperatures, but still hot for Friday night football. Kickoff conditions for Friday night blitz, 88 degrees. Be prepared to be hot out there in the stands. That relief just a day away, though. Saturday, Sunday, low to mid 80s, comfortable there. I will watch near the state line for just the slimmest of margins for a rain possibility uh, down into northern Missouri. Uh, Monday looks to be about the best prospect for everyone picking up some rain, but that's about it. In the long run, temperatures hold steady for a while, but then do try to creep closer to 90 degrees towards Labor Day weekend.